My body different. <coughs> What's good, y'all? Welcome back to yet another lit reaction on this channel. You guys are tuned in with your boy Nihilus, man. Look. Huh. Look, I don't even, look. I don't even have to say too much, man, but it's been a minute. I'm back with the reactions every single day, multiple times a day, because this is what you guys subscribe for. I already told you. This is like a free subscription. If you want if you want some daily entertainment, come back to this channel at 2 o'clock. Come back to this channel at 3 o'clock. Come back to this channel at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, so whatever time you need to, and there will be a video here for you to watch to make you smile or to if you're if it's something that you're interested, you know what I mean. And this video right here, the video that we are about to react to together, man, or about to watch together, is something that gained my interest. I read the title, Fifty Cent tells unheard story of Pop Smoke. I thought something was wrong with him. Okay. Now I heard the title. First of all, R.P. Pop Smoke. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying that this summer, this summer was his summer. You got what I'm saying? This summer was supposed to be his summer. But we're about to watch what 50 Cent had to say because we all know that 50 Cent for a very, very, very long time was like Pop Smoke's mentor, took him under the wing, was like a father to him in a game, something like that. Look, this is just what I see, this is what I heard, so this is what I'm relating to, yeah, okay. But we all know that already, we all, we all already knew that. So, I'm interested in seeing what 50 Cent had to say, an unheard story about Pop Smoke, especially because I like Pop Smoke, whatever the case was. So we're about to hop right into it. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And uh, I start the screen recording up, man. Let's get it. Where you going next? That's when you see Pop Smoke. That was one of my favorites, man. I like that nigga, man. So off rip, co-signing. I respect it. Off rip, co-signing. I really like that nigga, man. I met him. We was talking. And I was like, yo, I'm watching him, right? This nigga keep playing with his phone. Like, you know, these little niggas play with their phone all the time, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga, right? <laughs> <laughs> he said a little nigga playing with his phone. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Yo, 50 Cent, no cap, 50 Cent is G. 50 Cent is keep G. Keep playing with his phone. Like, you know, these little niggas play with their phone all, all the time, time, bro. I'm like, yo. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, man? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, right? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is he playing with his phone for, right? I'm in a meeting. I swear to God, this is really what happened, man. The nigga Pop Snow couldn't see me, right? He go, yo. <clears throat> they're sitting in there. Him and his man, right? In the meeting. Go, look, in the meeting. He's on the phone. He's like, yo. Yo, look. First things first, if you're in a meeting on your phone, it's not a good look. I'm gonna just say it like that. It don't matter if you're pop smoker, it don't matter if you're Jay Z. If you're in a meeting, you're not supposed to be in your phone, bro. What you say? He go. He looking at his phone. What the fuck is wrong with this little nigga, right? I'm like, yo, hold up. I get up. Cause I'm trying to see what the fuck is he doing, right? With his phone. Like, he's looking at his phone. <laughs> I swear to God, the nigga was writing what I said. Damn. Bullshit, man. He was writing it down. I looked at some old shit. Yeah. See, it's a difference between a nigga copying. That's not copying. That's not, not copying. copying. He never copied one fucking thing from me. Not at all. He just looked at it. He saw what was good in it. It influenced him. And he was doing his own thing with it. That's different. I love this shit, man. I fell in love with the nigga at that point. I fell in love with that nigga. I was like, yo. That's man. different. Look, man. I didn't mean to do that. But look, that's different. Honestly speaking. See, one thing that I, like, whenever I, whenever I talk to people, I'm not going to say who are better than me, but one thing that I do, one thing that I do is that whenever I'm speaking to somebody who is, you know, at a higher place or knows more than me, I like to learn from them. You feel what I'm saying? And the reason why I like to learn from them is because they obviously know a little bit more than I know. That's number one. Number two so I want to see what I can grasp from them, not take from them, but what I can learn from them. What can I, what, what lessons can I essentially take from them? What can I learn from this guy that that will help me better myself? Pop Smoke taking notes from Fifty Cent during a meeting—that's gangster. I don't care what anybody says, man. That's gangster. 
That's gangster. You're not writing it down. You're not blah, blah. The fact that he was on his phone taking notes while 50 was talking, that's some different shit, man. It's not copying. He never copied one he didn't copy. thing from me. Nah. Not at all. He just looked at it. He saw what was good in it. Yeah. It influenced him, and he was doing his own thing. That's a nice-ass picky ring, though. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That picky ring is nice. Look at that shirt here. That picky ring is nice as hell. Let's be honest. <laughs> I love this shit, man. I fell in love with the nigga at that point. I fell in love with that nigga. I, I, had, no, like, I had no choice, Pop. Yo, I like this nigga, man. I didn't know what the fuck. I was like, what else? I didn't even know how. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, you were sitting there. He was writing. He was writing down what I was saying. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking. Yo, why he keep doing this with his hand? Attention. And he was like, nah, this nigga. Whatever 50 saying, I, I gotta pay attention to this. That's G shit. That's real. It just come from, you know, the music. You know, when you listen to the music, I don't show up next to shit, man. That's G shit. You gotta figure out what's going on. Because niggas in the house are not gonna be running their mouth, and the niggas, the whole shit is, is, is fucked up, man. I know it's fucked up. But it's gay shit. It's G shit. I've been saying that. G shit, man. Look. That's some real G shit. That was a nice little story to I'm not gonna lie. That was a nice little story to I appreciate stuff like this. The unheard stuff. It's the stuff that people don't know. The work that gets put in behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So, that's gonna be the end of that video right there. If you guys did enjoy. If you guys do have any recommendations, video recommendations, leave them down in the description below, man. Alright? But uh, that's gonna be the end of this one. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And stay tuned to Nitrous TV for more of the content. I'm gonna catch you on the next one, bro. Peace.